Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and a wear test of the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Now the one that I have with me is called the Love Lust Disco Edition. Now as far as my understanding goes, it is the exact same Epic Ink Liner, just the packaging is different. So in today's video, I am going to be testing this eyeliner out on my bare oily eyelids. Now I have extremely oily skin. Skin, so in turn my eyelids get extremely oily and greasy as well so I have not added any concealer or eye primer or anything underneath I'm just gonna use this eyeliner alone and see how it wears throughout the day so before we can get into all the good stuff if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video So let's finish with the nitty gritty details about the eyeliner. Now for the features, it says that it's a cleverly designed eyeliner pen that glides on effortlessly to create a precise and smooth line. This felt tip eyeliner is packed with intense black pigment for one stroke color payoff. With a fine felt tip applicator, it creates a precise and snag free line that dries to a satin finish. Now it is mess free application and all day wear. The formula is waterproof, long wearing and easy to work with. This product is vegan and cruelty free as well. Now the original Epic Ink Liner that is priced at 825 rupees for 1 ml of product and this one the disco version I'm just going to call it disco version of it. So the disco version that is priced at 900 rupees for 1 ml of product so there is a price difference of a uh, price difference of 75 rupees between the both of them so this is how the outer packaging looks like which comes in a nice black box with gold detailing and i actually like the detailing it looks nice and fancy and at the back you have the usual ingredients and the expiry is six months and on top you have is the shade name embossed on it so this is how you open it up to get to the uh, product now this actually reminds me of those fancy ink pens that you used to get during school days and last but not the least this is how the product looks like i don't think the golden is showing that well on camera but it is pretty golden and this is how the felt tip liner is which is nice and precise and sharp and this is how it applies now as you guys saw the application it was pretty nice very smooth very precise and the color payoff is also pretty good the finish of this is not exactly matte like it said in the description it is a satin matte so it's not exactly glossy and it's not exactly matte as well now about the brush it is soft and it feels more like a brush tip rather than a felt tip now i usually never ever prefer an ink this pen kind of an eyeliner i have used only one other and i freaking hated it and that was by wet n wild it was a felt tip eyeliner that i just threw it away after one usage in one eye that's how much i did not like it because that was a proper felt tip eyeliner which is kind of very hard and pokey and that's how my experience always has been with felt tip liners it's usually hard and pokey so my usual preference is always like a liquid liner my current favorite is the maybelline colossal bold eyeliner and this is the kind of eyeliner i always go for like a liquid eyeliner which comes in this kind of a form which also has like a brush tip which looks like this so this one's felt tip felt like a brush tip <laughs> And now let's move on to the waterproof test because it claimed to be waterproof. So I have the H2O ready and on the same place where I drew it. Okay, it's a lot of water. So, okay, it is rubbing off with... It has rubbed off. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. So this claimed to be waterproof, but in my opinion, I feel that this is more like a water resistant and not a waterproof. 
uh, because according to me it is waterproof and you have to use like an oil based cleanser like uh, an oil infused micellar water or a cleansing balm or just your normal face wash so this one with just water itself and a little bit of rubbing it actually came off so if you are sweating or if you're stuck in the rain provided you don't rub your eyes i think you will be good to go but if you rub your eyes it's not gonna look that good so yeah as you guys saw it is water resistant so i have super zoomed you guys and please do not mind my gross breakouts it is what it is and uh, yeah just to give it a fair chance i'm using some blotting sheets on my eyelids first before applying the product like this doesn't have anything it just removes the excess oil oh and this actually makes a noise can you guys hear it <laughs> sounds bad i heard that you nasty so this is how super precise the eyeliner is and uh, yeah and also do not mind my unplugged eyebrow hair mm. So one side is done and now I can breathe. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty easy as you guys saw, but it does have a bit of a shine. I usually prefer a matte eyeliner, but it has a shine, which is okay. um it's not even but it's okay i actually prefer this side than this side i'm just gonna leave it as it is it is fine it's a friday chill evening and i'm just gonna be fine with it so the time is 4 21 pm so one thing that i noticed is that the cap of it is airtight so when you close it you actually can feel it being airtight the other thing is that it kind of dries up quickly so you have to work quick so yeah so i'll quickly show you guys how it looks in natural lighting as well hey guys i'm back and the time right now is 10 35 pm which is a little over six hours and uh, this is how oily my face and my eyelids look like let me zoom you guys in and show you what's happening with the eyeliner okay so please do not mind my oily greasy face now i am filming another video for which i have to retain this oiliness so looking closely at the eyeliner at this side it is completely fine because i never touched it or anything so it seems to sit well on my oily eyelids however on this side what had happened is that there was a little bit of that eye booger over here in the corner which i do get and i accidentally rubbed it or it was just a subconscious thing it was itching so i did rub it but not too much or not too hard but the eyeliner did smudge off so as you guys can see which i hope you can there is no eyeliner over here but the rest of the place there is eyeliner so that's what happened so apart from that if it's not disturbed or touched uh, the eyeliner is sitting well on my oily skin it did not bleed or break apart or anything of that sorts now just for a little bit of shits and giggles i do am curious just to see how much it smudges if i wantedly do it so i don't like this wing any which way so i'm just gonna smudge it a little bit just to see is it easy to smudge it off and it is so again, it's not too much of pressure that I've put, but it does much pretty easily. So 
that's that so let's talk about the pros and the cons and my overall thoughts about the nyx epic ink liner now for the first pro it is the fell tip liner which is so soft like a brush tip and that is something that i was not expecting at all like i've said before i have used other fell tip liners and they were so stiff and hard and i did not like the way how it applied but this one is so soft and it's it's very smooth and soft on your eyelids. It's not hurtful at all. Now the next one is that it applies very precisely and it glides very smooth like butter. And the third pro is that it applies in one single stroke. So as you guys saw during the application, just one stroke and it gave a full pigmentation. Uh, the only place that I had to fill in was the gaps. That's because of which I had to fill in because it's a wing eyeliner. But apart from that, just one stroke of liner and you're good to go. So for the fourth pro, it is a beautiful, bold, intense black liner, which I kind of like and I prefer. So that is a good thing. I have seen other eyeliners, especially liquid eyeliners that kind of run very liquidy or very sure you have to layer it on and on but this one is the perfect amount of opacity the next pro is that the cap is a good airtight cap you know some containers when you shut it you know that it's an airtight container similarly with this cap it's airtight the other pencil liners that i have used they are usually like the normal click types but this you can feel the air tightness in the cap if that makes any sense so these are the kind of liners where the more it is exposed to the air, the drier it will get sooner. So I feel the airtight cap is a good thing. So the next pro is that this stayed on well on my oily eyelids. Now there are some liners which kind of break apart or they kind of bleed as soon as you apply it or after some time it will kind of bleed and it kind of that veiny effect it gives, the veiny branching out. But this one was a good one. It is good and it stayed pretty put on my oily eyelids provided you don't touch them or meddle with them. It kind of stays put. And last but not the least is the price point. Now, I will come to the price point because it comes in the con as well. Now, the reason I'm saying the price point is because if you compare it to other luxury brands like the Benefit Roller Liner, that one is worth 2100 rupees for one ml of product the same quantity but the price point is 2100 compared to this one which was 900 bucks for me and the mini version of the same benefit roller liner that is about 0.5 ml which is half the quantity but the price point is 1150 it is still above the next one and the next example is the Too Faced better than sex liquid liner now that has 0.6 ml of product which is less than the next one and the pricing is 1700 rupees which is still very high like almost double the amount as the next one so when you compare it with the luxury brand i feel this is a proper medium not exactly affordable but right in between kind of a price point now same way i'm going to move to the con with the same con that is the price point because if you compare it to affordable brands such as Maybelline, now Maybelline also has a similar ink liner. Now that is priced at 420 bucks for 1.2 ml of product. So when you compare it to an affordable brand like Maybelline or Wet n Wild, this price point is a bit higher. All of these products that I'm giving as an example, I have not used them before in my life. So I don't know performance wise, I'm just telling you guys is as per the price point and the quantity. So NYX is the kind of a brand which is like the perfect in between. It is not exactly affordable and nor is it exactly luxury, but it is the perfect in between and the result wise as well, it is pretty good. Now the second con is that this eyeliner is not waterproof as it is marketed. Now it is water resistant, yes, but it's not exactly waterproof. As you guys saw now if you ask me personally i actually prefer the fact that it is not waterproof uh the reason is because uh one i have very sensitive eyes and i wear contact lenses so i hate rubbing my eyes a lot because it gets super red and super sensitive and the other reason which i think i have mentioned before is the fact that the skin around your eyes that is the most thinnest part of your face so the more you rub and pull and tug and everything the more prone your eyes will be to fine lines and wrinkles in a long run not immediately obviously so if you guys actually apply your eyeliner pulling your eyes like this stop doing that 
So for me personally, I actually don't mind the fact that it is not waterproof. But then since the advertisers are marketed a lot saying, oh, it is waterproof, but then it's not. So I'm going to put this in the con. And the last con is the fact that this smudges pretty easily. As you guys saw, this portion got rubbed off. And then this portion, which I wantedly tried rubbing, and it came off pretty easily. So yeah, these are the three cons. So for my overall thoughts on the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I do love the product. The pros outweighs the con and I will be using this on, but I'm not so sure about repurchasing it. The reason is because I want to see how long this will last. Only then I can make a proper sound decision if I can repurchase it or not because the price point is not as affordable. But then if you compare it with other luxury brands, just Too Faced or Benefit, this is a good buy. So if you have already bought Benefit or Too Faced, if you want to like, you know, not spend so much of money, this is a good purchase. Or if this is on a sale, pick it up. So yeah, this wraps up today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it, notify whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try my best to do that for you. As well as follow me on my socials, which is It's Shanayar on Instagram and It's Shanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.